Hey guys, you just let us know the Napoleon trailer is out. This is, uh, I think, Ridley Scott, uh, mm -hmm. director, and Napoleon. And uh, my uh, experience with Napoleon on screen is limited to um, Bill and Ted. Excusez-moi, monsieur. Hold on there, not so fast, buddy. Petit, you ain't paid yet. Hey? Uh, <laughs> no! No! <laughs> go, I go on water slide first. And Ziggy Piggy. Ziggy Piggy. Ziggy Piggy. I just love that character. All right, here we go. So, this is the real Napoleon. That one was the real one. Then this is also the real one. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Napoleon. Apple, or wait a minute. We're done. Wait a minute. We're done. I gotta buy it. I, no. I thought it was coming out in theater. It is. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, fucking buy a goddamn Apple. We must make an example. Our France will fall. Make an example. Our what France will fall. This assignment of defense was transferred to you. Yes. This is crazy. So that's how he got famous. He's kind of an artillery success. commander and he helped out during. That uh, rebellion there. Everyone. What's what's Everyone. what's with the music? Are we gonna? What is this costume? The, please don't let that be in the actual film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hope. Oh man, yes. The fucking old school warfare. Whoa, we're even getting some ship it? battles too. Napoleon. The course of my life has changed. Napoleon. Is that, is that Joaquin Phoenix just doing no accent? Was that just Joaquin Phoenix? Phoenix? No, we, we don't do accents. No, we don't do accents. Always going into battle with his, soul, with his troops. The tall hats. I'm taking over this bitch. Shall we vote? <laughs> Shall we vote? Duty Emperor. <laughs> Oh, cool! Oh, the square formation! Lack of simple good manners. Lover? Tyrant? He was a freak. He is freak a weird machine. Some lover. Say, He's got some weird fetishes. Of course, Alex knows about all of the fetishes that Napoleon had. He wrote them down. He did. <laughs> In the letters <laughs> to his lover. Lover. Uh, yeah, you don't want to be doing that in the winter. Yeah, it's a trap. You don't fuck. That's a big mistake. I simply never do. That looks awesome. Holy shit. David Scarpa, don't not familiar with his work. Wow. Cool. What, what did y'all think of that? It looks pretty cool. I like the old school battles. It looked like it's going to be filmed amazing. Uh, Joaquin Phoenix is a great actor. Yes, so he is. It's going to be I'm pretty sure he's going to nail this. Yeah. It looks good. I'm looking forward to this. It's, it's at theaters. Okay. Yeah, theaters. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely theaters. He's a little worried about the so. apple. I was like, nah, yeah. I don't want to. I immediately became disinterested. Mm -hmm. But, you know. I guess I'm eventually going to buy Apple for fucking Godzilla TV series if they're even still doing that. Alex, what are you thinking? Uh, I think that there are two wildly different Ridley Scotts. Um, one guy is incredibly creative, and he typically does the historical stuff, mm -hmm. and I think there are you, there are, I almost always enjoy them. I think yeah. some of them are great. And then there's the other guy who uh, I don't know what the fuck is doing, and he just keeps ruining things that I love. Um, <laughs> but like this is, ex this is the kind of stuff that I want to see. Um, I, I expect this movie to be three and a half hours long. Yeah. Um, and as long as we get like a bunch of different slices of his life, because they they mention this like this is him it on the battlefield, like this it. is his personal stuff, and I think that's taking super over interesting. So. Political power, political maneuvering, even sexual stuff, even all that. This looks like if you're a Napoleon fan or you're a history fan, you you're gonna be very interested. And even if you aren't, I think it has mass market appeal enough with the action scenes and and Joaquin Phoenix to. Uh, and then they're putting in the modern music for the trailer to get people maybe to come uh, do the butts in the seat because uh, lately right now, um, you know, 
Ridley Scott, box office bomb. You know, the last one that came out, do you remember? Uh, With uh, Matt Damon and um, Adam Driver and even Ben Affleck. I forget the name of it. See, the fact that we've already forgot the name. It was a huge, the last duel. Huge bomb. We liked it. It We actually liked it, but it just did not perform at the box office. One of these uh, elaborate, high budget, historical things. Here it is, elaborate, high budget, historical things. But this time he's got a name attached. Uh, well, I guess it's not that. I guess Matt Damon and Adam Driver; those are names. It wasn't the time for the. You know market. what? I don't, I don't know, know what <laughs> happened. I really don't know what happened there. I don't want that to happen again for, to this film because, frankly, I love these types of films. I love the historical type films. These these legendary figures in history. Um, they're gonna embellish some stuff, I'm sure. In this, oh yeah, that's to it. make it a little more entertaining, but it's gonna be. Do you think it's like? The people nowadays, because everyone's like, ah, oh, I just wanted to go see like Fast X and right. Marvel movies. Fuck, this historical fuck stuff. It's like, ah, oh, it's gonna be boring. What was the film that got ninety percentile that we were like, that, that was Indiana just Jones. Fucking it's dumb. still at eighty eight. It's still at eighty eight. It's just fucking dumb. <laughs> like, watch this instead of motherfucking Indiana Jones and Dial of Destiny. But I mean, we're I guess we're true. Uh, but sniffing Time, critics times, now. Times I guess. Changing. Yes. Uh, <laughs> No, because I love popcorn movies, and that was just a bad popcorn movie. So, like, I no, apparently you're wrong. not. <laughs> Every, oh, we're the wrong ones. We have become no, it's those critics. Kids, those kids, they're wrong. Nobody can stand this. <laughs> Whatever. We've just seen a lot of movies, and this this looks good. This is what we were. We hopefully, I don't know, could come out in this shit. But yeah, how much money do you think this thing costs? Like two hundred million. Uh, its budget looks so yeah. high with all of the. Yeah, they've done a really good job on the effects. Uh, let's see. Go ahead. Go yeah. ahead and talk. It, it, yeah, it's it's. it's cr- I mean, it looks good. I mean, you have that many horses and you got artillery and these scenes. And I mean, it's a period piece. So, wow. That's so cheap. No That's budget cheap. for it yet. Mm-hmm. And you know, once this is in theaters and it comes out later on, it's going to end up on Apple Plus service. Because if, if Apple's bankrolling this, no uh, budget numbers in the Wikipedia. Yeah. Is it going to come out at the same time as Apple? Because it said in theaters. It said exclusively in theaters on the thing earlier. So I okay, imagine it, it, it'll eventually make its way okay. over to the Apple I thought Plus it was going to be first there and then. Yeah. There's there's actually some good Napoleon films in the past. Maybe this might get people there's interested. some really expensive ones. Yeah, in the past as well. So anyways, I'm going to immediately play Empire Total War <laughs> and all these things when this film comes out. Maybe uh, in, in recommend some additional video games that you guys might like Cossacks 2 and things like that but um, that's our opinion on Napoleon what do you think of Napoleon are you going to go and watch this is it appeal to you you're like Joe why are you even doing a trailer reaction it's boring it sucks (laughs) and I hate this well uh, you are an uncultured um, (laughs) piece (laughs) alright I will see you guys on the next Angry Joe show bye guys